Welcome to Army Recognition's Defense Web TV News for Thursday, July 3rd, 2025. Your daily source for global military coverage. Every day we bring you the most important defense stories with dynamic video reports covering land, air, and naval forces. On July 2nd, 2025, Hyundai Rotom of South Korea finalized a landmark deal with Poland for a second batch of K2 Black Panther main battle tanks, reinforcing NATO's armored warfare capabilities at a time of shifting European security dynamics. This deal comes as Poland is boosting its defense spending in response to Russia's 2022 invasion of Ukraine. Estimated around $6 billion, this contract is South Korea's biggest single arms export so far. It shows how important the K-2 tank is for NATO's overall defense strategy and reflects South Korea's goal to become one of the world's top arms exporters. The K-2 Black Panther, developed by Hyundai Rotem, is among the world's most advanced main battle tanks, boasting composite modular armor and 120mm auto loading gun, advanced fire control, and a hydro pneumatic suspension that enhances mobility and stability. Its active protection system and ability to ford deep water make it well suited for European terrain. Under a new deal, Poland will receive about 180 additional K2 tanks, 117 built in South Korea, and the rest assembled locally by Poland's state run PGZ. This local production, tailored to Polish army needs, is part of a broader technology transfer agreement and supports the EU's Rearm Europe plan, promoting local defense capabilities. The K2 entered South Korean service in 2014, following over a decade of development. Its adaptable, NATO-compatible design has made it a strong export competitor to tanks like Germany's Leopard 2A7 and the US M1A2 Abrams. Poland's initial K2 purchase in 2022, part of a 13.7 billion arms package, made it South Korea's top defense customer. The latest deal deepens that partnership, enhancing local production, parts localization and industrial offsets. What sets the K2 apart from all the Western tanks is its cutting-edge suspension, amphibious capabilities and built-in active protection. Features that boost mobility and survivability in modern combat. Its digital systems and modular armor allow for quicker upgrades, a key advantage on NATO's eastern flank. For South Korea, this $6 billion agreement underscores the role of its defense exports in foreign policy, supporting its goal of becoming a top four global arms exporter by 2027. The deal also positions Poland to field one of Europe's largest armored forces and may pave the way for further K2 orders from other NATO members. This milestone reinforces South Korea's emergence as a global defense player, turning military exports like the K2 into tools of economic growth, diplomatic leverage and long-term industrial cooperation. Stay tuned to Defense Web TV for daily updates on the most important stories in the defense and security world. Don't miss our end of the week roundup where we break down the key developments across land, air and sea.